Hey guys, it's Lisa from lisaloveslether.com here today to do a review, a comparison review of Urban Southern's mini market tote compared to the full size market tote. If you are a leather bag designer and you would like me to review one of your bags, please DM me on Instagram. You can find me there as Lisa Loves Leather. So I was carrying both of these two beautiful bags uh, for the last two or three weeks, and I just wanna share with you my observations. I kind of put both of these bags to 19 different tests, <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you who wins the award for what. And the way I'm gonna show you those um, awards, if you will, is by pulling out items from the bags, um, and they will tell you and me <laughs> um, what the bag did well at, what it accomplished, okay? And it will also kind of give you a sense of the capacity for these bags as well. So let's start with the full size um, market tote and um, we'll go through and I'll tell you how it did okay so first of all it wins the award for <laughs> doing well at a farmers market okay so this bag did great I took it to our central market and was able to um, just load it up with all kinds of goodies and it did great um, and I think when you go to a farmer's market, you have to be comfortable with, you know, fruits and veggies. They might be wet sometimes going down to the bottom of your bag, but the bag did absolutely great. And one of the nice things about this bag is when you hold it on your shoulder, the sides kind of automatically open up, if you will. So it made it real easy for me to throw my fruits and vegetables into the bag. I didn't have to like struggle to open it. So that was pretty awesome. It also wins the award for carrying my laptop very well. Um, this bag can carry up to a 17 inch laptop. So it did very well with that. No problems there. This bag is also great if you're one of those people who needs like, you know, a change of shoes after work, plenty of room to store them in the bag. I'll just toss those on the floor. <laughs> um, let's see, oh, the bag performed great when we did an overnight at my in-laws. I always pack, um, you know, um, emergency medical stuff. So we just threw, just for one night, I was able to get all my stuff that I needed to in this bag. So it's wonderful as an overnight bag. So it won the award for that. This bag also won my personal award for going on a picnic. <laughs> um, we have four members in our immediate family and the bag did great. I could throw all of our sandwiches and drink bottles and snacks and fruits and everything into the bag and it was great and I felt so much um, more fashionable <laughs> taking this to our little grassy knoll where we go for our picnic sometimes rather than like you know the standard kind of refrigerated totes that you can get at the food store like this was so much more fun <laughs> and aesthetic right um we did a big haul from a um farm at and we got all kinds of pumpkins and gourds and the bag was very useful then because I was able to just, you know, as my kids saw gourds and small pumpkins and stuff that they wanted, I was just like, sure, and we threw it in and it was great. And then I could go up to the woman and be like, here, these are the ones we want. So it did great there. I didn't put any huge, huge pumpkins in it, <laughs> but it might have done okay with a huge pumpkin. I don't know. Um, let's see. Oh, it also came up very useful. It wins the award for our library runs that we do. Um, when we go to the library, we always think we're only going to get a few books and then we end up getting a ton. And, um, it's just usually we're like struggling with them and they're falling all over the place and my kids end up getting frustrated and then I have to carry them all, which is annoying but not with this bag. I was able to just, you know, stuff, 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 and it, it did great. So it wins the award for the library tote. <laughs> um, 
I am no longer a teacher, but if I was, this wins the award for being a great teacher bag because it can be your purse, it can carry all of your school stuff, you know, worksheets that you have to correct at home. It's fantastic for that. I wish I would have had this when I was teaching. Um, my, let's see, oh, oh, we, I took it a couple times to my son's baseball games and it was perfect just for carrying everything that we needed if we needed like a, a small blanket, something like that. And I forgot to say, I did pack a blanket in here when we went on our picnic and it was able to hold all of our food plus the blanket, which was awesome. And then this also wins the award for being the best travel bag. Now, I did not go anywhere exciting in the time that I was um, using this bag, but my mother-in-law um, travels and she saw the bag and immediately said, oh, that would be perfect for a carry-on. You can like easily stuff it underneath the seat in front of you. And the bag is deep enough that you don't need to mess around with the hardware of a zipper. Um, it can just, you know, fold over and close and you stuff it underneath. Um, so it wins the award for being the best travel bag in my opinion and the last award this guy wins is my feather award for being lightweight uh, this for the size of the bag is extremely light weight and that's because there's not a lot of hardware there's just these brass rivets so those are the 11 awards that I gave to the full-size market tote by urban southern now let's see how the mini market tote performed. I subjected it to a handful of tests and it actually won eight different awards. All right, so are you ready to see how this guy performed? Um, first of all, I just wanna say, these market totes coordinate so well with some of the other pieces that you can buy from Urban Southern, um, like some of their wallets. Um, so, you know, they're just great coordinating pieces as well. So here we have the mini market tote, and I feel that it is great, especially if you are petite. It's just a wonderful size, um, and it has received a five-star rating um, from customers consistently um, but so did the full-size market tote as well all right so this bag wins my award for being the best to carry a water bottle and I say that because the size of it is such that my water bottle wouldn't fall over so I really liked that I could stick it in and it would stay standing up um, it also wins the award for carrying my iPad, I feel like, you know, it just, it was a really easy thing to throw in and be able to retrieve and find. So the bag wins that award. Um, it wins the award for, this is the bag I took when I went to just go to a local um, bookstore and do some journaling. Um, just the perfect size for that. Uh, oh, the bag wins the award. Check this out. <laughs> this is my fake coffee cup um, for being just the perfect bag to take along when I went out for coffee with one of my friends um, it just it was just the perfect size to take for that and then the bag was great for snacks and toys for the kids especially my daughter she always is hungry and well so is my son actually <laughs> and she always wants a toy along so um, the bag was perfect for just you know having snacks in there in addition to you know what I normally carry in my purse and then this is a fake iPhone <laughs> that I made for my daughter so she could play with it um, the bag was also perfect for finding my iPhone real quick and easy to find my iPhone in this bag so it wins the iPhone award. And then let's see what else. Oh, it wins the lipstick award. Um, this is just to recall um, the wonderful date night I was able to go on with my husband. And I took this bag on our date night because it's just so versatile. I thought it was just the right um, size, shape, color. It goes with really any outfit. So that wins the award for um, you know a good date night bag. And the last award that the mini market tote wins, in my opinion, this is a big one. It wins the everyday award because I truly feel like this is a bag that you could carry every single day to every single event or place. It's just, it's 
really, really perfect. <laughs> All right, so let me tell you about the size differences between these bags. The full size market tote is 20 inches high, okay, 20 inches high by 14 inches across by six inches thick. The double shoulder handles are 27 and a half inches long and the whole bag is two and a half pounds very comfortable as it sits on my shoulder. Okay, I'll kind of back up. That's kind of how it looks on my person. Now let me compare that to the mini market tote, which I have here. The mini market tote was originally marketed as kind of like a mommy and me bag so that, you know, the mom could have the larger tote and then the daughter could have the smaller tote. Although if you gave one of these to your daughters, she could use it all the way up through college and beyond. Um, but the sizes of this one are 15 inches high by 12 inches across by four inches thick. The double shoulder handles are actually a little bit longer. They are 28 and a half inches long. And just so you know, for measuring purposes, there is a nine inch strap drop from the top of the tote to you know, the top of the handle here. And the weight of this bag is 1.3 pounds. So the differences between these two bags in terms of size, there is a difference in five inches in the height of the bags, okay? There is a difference of two inches across and then a difference of two inches in the thickness. So that kind of gives you an idea of the differences. This leather is so beautiful. This is the chestnut brown. There's an up close look at the hide. And then this is called matte black. Just so beautiful, hello. <laughs> um, these are made of full grain, all American steer hide. And it is just thick and luxurious and luscious and how it smells and feels. Um, it's very soft and durable and it is really meant to last a lifetime. Um, just take a look, maybe you want to see a close-up for a moment of just, you know, how it's constructed. Just beautiful work. Very, very nice done, nicely done. That kind of gives you a look of the inside and a look at the seams. Just really, really nice craftsmanship here. There are two ways to carry uh, these bags. Look at that, those beautiful grains. <laughs> um, you can carry it by the handles, like so. Or you can carry it by the hand, I'm sorry, the shoulder straps, I should have said. Or you can carry it by the handles. And this is a really comfy way to hold the bag. I didn't think I was going to like it, but I do. It's very comfortable. I think it looks really unique. You don't see any other bags like this. And the reason why I think they made the handle part of the bag in just one solid piece of leather is because it gives that bag maximum strength. You can really stuff these bags full to capacity and put a lot of weight in them and you're not going to have, you know, straps breaking off at the seams because you're looking at one solid piece of leather here. So that's kind of cool. The straps attach on the ends um, instead of the sides. Okay, they're at the ends of the bag. The straps are not adjustable, but I found that the length is just perfect. I don't know how long it took them to figure out these lengths, but it's just perfect. I'm completely happy. Now I am 5'7", if that gives you a little bit of a reference point. Remember the straps are a little bit longer on the smaller bag, but it's just it's just great in my opinion so they hit the sweet spot there um, and like I said the brass rivets are the only hardware on the bag okay um, what I love about the bag is that when you put it on your shoulder the it, it can pop open like that and which that makes it easier for stuffing things inside on the go especially if you're at a farmers market or something but what is great is you can also keep it closed with your arm. See that? And that makes you a whole lot less prone to pickpocketers. 
So I thought that was really cool because the opening of the bag is right under my arm. So I don't have to worry about, um, you know, somebody kind of, um, you know, sneaking in the back. It's not real wide. It's just the right size. The openings are in the perfect place. And just an option for you too, if you don't like the height of the handles here, and you don't want that feel of knowing that your bag is closed, another option is to just kind of puppy ear the handles down over like so, okay? And over time, they will start to soften and flop in anyway, which kind of gives you closure to your bag. So they, they can be folded in if you want them to be, and they will probably do that over time anyway, okay? All right, so the full-size market tote we'll talk about first. This was inspired by the concept of a reusable grocery bag. And let me read this quote to you. Uh, it was born out of a desire to make a bag big enough to fill up on a trip to the market, beautiful enough to take anywhere, and slim enough to never get in your way. And that is so true because even though this is a huge bag and I can put lots in it and it's very eye-catching because of its size and its quality, notice how thin it is against my body. I mean, I can stuff it full, but it's nice and thin. Um, it's not going to get in my way if I am in a crowded place or if I'm in like a, you know, a, excuse me, like an elevator or something, I can keep my bag nice and close to me. It, it collapses nice and thin. So that was a, a good design, I thought. Um, one of the reviews uh, that this bag received online, and I thought this was a great way to describe it, a person described it as a styling workhorse. And I agree, like this is meant to work hard, and yet it looks so good while doing it. <laughs> um, other people have called this kind of like a Mary Poppins bag because you can just put so much in it, so much comes out. <laughs> and it is rated five stars by customers. Okay, so some of my wishes for this large bag, because it is so cavernous, this is the full size um, tote and it is just so soft. Um, at first I wanted an interior pocket and I was, you know, kind of surprised that there was not an interior pocket. Sorry, you can see one of my feathers from my feather boa down there. <laughs> um, anyway, um, there's no interior pocket and at first I was disappointed, but then I realized if they would have done an interior pocket, there would have had to be stitching somewhere on the outside of the bag and I would not want that because I love how it looks with no stitching, no seams showing, just nice solid piece of leather. So I think that's okay to, to skip. However, sometimes it might be hard to find your keys. And one of the nice things that Urban Southern does is they send everybody, when you make a purchase, you get one of these cool um, free key fobs. And the key fobs actually open up, which most key fobs don't. And I think this is awesome that it does. So what I found myself doing was I just took my key fob with my keys on it, of course, and then I was able to take it and just kind of put it around one of the straps like so, and then I could drop it in my bag and my keys were real easy to get and real easy to take off. So that would be my recommendation that you can use uh, the key fob for when you get it, okay? Um, what else do I wanna tell you? Oh. There's no pocket for your cell phone necessarily. Um, again, I didn't want the little stitching um, for a pocket, but potentially, um, maybe if they wanted to make any other changes to this bag, it might be a neat idea to take these rivets, which are already present, and just when the rivets are placed to attach the straps, to maybe also attach an interior pocket, a very thin pocket that would just go here um, for me to slide my phone in. So that would just be a cool, maybe improvement that they could make to the bag. But otherwise, I think it's fantastic. And they do have a really cool solution available. If you don't wanna just throw all of your stuff into one big cavernous pit, they do sell um, tote organizers, which are pretty cool. They're just little inserts that you can put into your bag. They sell them right on the Urban Southern website. And then when you look in your bag, you're a little bit more organized. So that's an option. If you don't want to do that, you could always do little pouches in here um, to, to quickly find your thing. And guys, something I love about leather like this 
is that you can dress it up or dress it down. When you have minimal hardware on a bag, like this is really the only hardware, that allows you to dress it up or down. If a bag that is made of leather has hardware on it, I feel like it kind of can cement the bag into a category of either this is more formal or this is more casual. But when you have a bag like one of these delicious market totes, there's no hardware on it to pigeonhole it into a certain style. So you can truly dress this up or down depending on the rest of your outfit, depending on the situation. So this bag can look very casual if I wear it with jeans and a t-shirt and I'm just going somewhere casual, or it can look really dressed up if I, you know, have on some nice jewelry and, and I have a more elevated look. So that's what I love about leather bags that don't have a lot of hardware is they really give you that ability to dress it up or dress it down. That's why I think something like this is a great investment piece because you're going to be able to use it in all kinds of different situations, um, whether formal or whether not so formal, you know, it doesn't matter. It's going to be able to do the job well. Anyway, no matter which size you get, or maybe you want to get both, and maybe you want to get the lovely chestnut brown and the beautiful matte black. It's so hard to decide. I can't help you with that, but <laughs> it is an investment and it is one that is sure to last you a lifetime. So if you're going to pick one up, be sure to use my uh, discount code, which is Lisa15, L-I-S-A-1-5. Type it into the um, box at checkout and you'll get 15% off your order. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you'll get notification when I upload my next video and please comment down below with what brand you would like me to um, look at next. Have a great day everyone. Bye!